our very first Maserati Levante, the two litre GT hybrid. Well, this is actually Maserati's first hybrid SUV. And with only 1,100 miles on the car, in a beautiful white, 2021 71 registration, the car is in immaculate condition, inside and out, with a beautiful specification. The colour combination, the car's under manufacturer's warranty, and being the hybrid SUV, you get a combination of everything. You get four-wheel drive, you get running cost, you get sound, and you don't see many. I quite like to be a little bit different from time to time, and this is that. Value for money, if you look at what's available and you do your homework and do, do a little bit of research, you'll see that this is the best value, Maserati Levante, the hybrid, that's available today in the market with this spec on as well, which is more than what's available out there. Now for me, it's the way it looks. It's a, it's a new model car, so you've got that very menacing, but yet classy, cool looking front end. All the sharp angles and lines. They're obviously Maserati trident bang in the middle, the chrome slats in the grille, the LED daytime running lights, the LED fog lights, front and rear parking sensors, and the mouthpiece with a full color coded bottom apron going on there. It looks good. It's got a nice long front end, but then it slopes down. Now this car also has air suspension. If you look at a lot of the four wheel drives, not all of them have air suspension, but this one does. So you can adjust the setting on it. But then you've got the beautiful Maserati upgraded 21 inch alloy wheels finished in the gloss black with the red brake calibers just there. No curb damage, no corrosion, nothing, but you wouldn't expect it. The car's got 1,100 miles. All the colour coded arches, the side skirts, and same with the back as well. A couple of things you'll notice dotted about around the vehicle, you've got the beautiful blue accents with it being the hybrid, that's a nice little touch, and obviously the GT badging because this is the GT specification. Sun protection glass, comfort access. Again, you've got the Maserati Trident on the back pillar there with again the blue little accents built into it. Nice little touches. Soft closed doors, another good piece of spec that you want on a car so when you shut the doors you don't need to slam it it closes and it sucks in automatically another neat feature is you've got frameless doors so although this is a, a, an SUV a four-wheel drive and it's a big car when the windows are down front and back you've got this beautiful effect see where there's just no pillars and that makes a difference but then this is a Maserati and that's what you get you get build quality you get reliability and just look at that interior such a comfortable place Full leather interior, electric seats, lumbar support, touchscreen media system. Now if you look up, this one's got the full tilt and sliding panoramic roof, which not all of them have. Dual zone climate control, heated seats, that little clock in the middle there makes all the difference. You've then got piano black and this lots of aluminium as well all around the vehicle. Again, good quality materials have been used for this car and you can see that straight away. Five seater, four wheel drive, so you've got, again, Little bit of reclining on the rear seats, ISOFIX attachment, three point seat belts, and that centre armrest comes down. But remember, with the panoramic roof allowing all that light to come in, it just feels brilliant. The shape on it is awesome. This is not one of them great big four wheel drives. It's a good size, don't get me wrong, but it's not small, it's not bigger. For me, it's just bang in the middle. From the back, it's a Maserati, so you want the quad tailpipe straight away. It's all colour coded. The new styling on the LED lighting system around the back, the clear indicators, reversing camera system, and automatic tailgate. Another nice, neat feature on this car, which you don't really see on many cars, is when you have got automatic tailgate like this, and you're as short as me, you have to give it one of them. On this one, the button's just there, so literally, you grab your bags, your boxes, whatever it is, press the button, and you walk away. Seats go down 60-40, you've got all the paraphernalia, handbooks, wallets, instructions, everything's there, just a hand. And then underneath here, you've got a bit more cubby hole space with a foam kit, tow and eye hook, etc, screwdriver. Like I so you just press that literally and then it closes up for you, which is brilliant. The shape and the design, like Maserati Ghibli and all the rest of it, you've got that lovely arch effect on the back there, same with the front. Like I so said, with the black wheels on, genuinely is a great, great car. Have a look at this for space. There's tons. I've set the front seat ready for me. But there's tons of space in here. The leg room, the head room. The, the, the quality, if you come in here, you'll see this whole roof lining. I'm not sure what it is. It feels a bit like Alcantara, but it's got a very good suede feel to it. But the leather and everything else just feels, feels very good. 
I did expect it to be, it's a Maserati. And when you see this car go live and you see what it's priced up for, you'll get a small shop because for a 71 range, 1,000 miles, hybrid SUV, for the, for the money, it looks a lot more expensive than what it is. Does that make sense? Like, sometimes you can look at a car and go, well, that's under 20,000 pounds, it has to be. Because that's that type of feel, that's, that's that type of look. It, it does everything, cruise control, Stereo controls, Bluetooth controls and all that. All my headlights, all my window wipers. You have the digital section bang in the middle there. And then again, this has changed ever so slightly, so it's very easy to use. Your heated seats option, all up there. Your navigation, media. It's all self-explanatory, to be fair. they nice little touches. The heating system down here. It's quite easy to navigate. Could be whole space on two keys. Different drive modes, you've got sport, ice, off-road, traction control. And then you've got the suspension settings down here with the air suspension. Automatic gearbox, when you put it in reverse, the camera comes on, nice, big, clear, see exactly what you're doing. And remember, for me, this is the one to have, you need it. A car like this, letting all that light in makes all the difference. Sounds good as well. Push button start, automatic folding mirrors, with them wheels in that colour, in the hybrid, this car isn't going to hang around. Like I said, do your research, see what's available, and you will get a massive shop because this is the best value in the country. My name's Joe, my name and number's on the bottom of the screen. Give me a call, drop me a text or a WhatsApp. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.